This week on Jerseys and Heels. The visor game is on point, honey. It is strong. You're looking like a little Lane Kiffin today. I would have worn my visor, like... but it smells. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment, fun, and a fresh new outlook on absolutely nothing. You sound very Canadian. Yeah? Eh? That's a nice breeze, yeah? No, that was not Canadian. That is Canadian, eh? <laughs> that is a Canadian, eh? That is Canadian, eh? Canadian, eh? Thank you. How in the shot am I? You're in. That sounds like you were, that sounds like a curse word. How in the shot? <laughs> oh, there's a stingray right there. Uh, only in the bomb is are we talking about fake cuss words and then we see stingray. stingray. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Yeah, it's kind of mm. neat. It's pretty neat, guys. <laughs> How in the um, shot am I? Who are you guys and why are you on a podcast? So, um, guys, I just thought, you know, I like to bring some of my life in. We always have, you know, these apparent celebrity guests. So I brought my real celebrity guests on. Mm. Thank they're you. the I thought they're you were about the, to offend me to be honest. <laughs> Big facts. Big they facts. they they are my celebrities. You guys are my boys. Oh, nice. So like I have Word. like my fake boys on. No, I mean Chad's my boy, I guess. But you guys are who I call when a guy breaks up with me. Uh, True. We'll go beat him up. I will. I, will uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> guys don't really break up with me though. I, Ooh, I mean, wow. There you go. Remember the last Ooh. time I called you? I bawled my eyes out. I don't remember what it was about. JR is my counselor. I've never one of those calls. I'm counsel. And Matt and I, we go to Alabama games. Mm. And, you know, we have this Bama deep connection history. So, anyway, um, guys, we have a former quarterback. <laughs> Talk about me or Shelby? <laughs> Both of us, actually. Really? Wait, Pop Wonder Days, let me tell you what. Uh, yeah, I, I heard that you were an incredible quarterback. He was a better running back. I was a better running back. How tall are you? Six five. <laughs> this was when he was the same height as me. Were you a six five running back? No, you weren't. Okay, so Sharpie. Total game strong. So Sharpie's the the ex quarterback. They just tackled me for my legs. Ten years of my life. Okay, and then Jr. What about you? Uh, what am I ex of? Yeah, or you're. What, who are you? Like, what, what uh, can we I? call you? Where, uh -huh. What did you say that you were? I forgot. We have the golfer here. I mean, almost pro golfer. Soon. In future pro couple sports? months, soon to be. Yeah. In terms of sports? Anything. How about just dad just, AF? You know, all like, around you know like when you're on Rivals.com looking at new recruits coming in <laughs> and they don't know what category to put them in, they just say athlete? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh I can't be contained one position. Oh. Hey, can I just say, have you guys been to Top Golf with JR? He could win like a Top Golf com competition if there was one. You can't say that in front of Andrew. Cause... Thanks, thanks, Rags. <laughs> thanks, Rags. <laughs> Shout no, out to I mean, Rags. There's no, I mean, there's no really form. He just hits the crap of it to out of it to the back of the net. But then it's... I shank it. it makes me angry. The clubs are definitely way too short for him, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Oh, crap. My cigar went out. And you know what? I don't even care. I'll smoke it later. Listen, on a scale from one to uh, Nature Valley Granola Bar, <laughs> how much is your... Life falling apart right now. <laughs> oh my. Well. Mm. Well, I don't know if the camera That's can a day by really day. capture what everything here, but. What are we judging it on? My life is a whole piece right now. <laughs> is it? Yes. Is it like a gooey granola that like is really sticks Mine's together? It's like is a it? Nature Valley granola bar that's like wrapped in peanut butter. Like, it cannot <laughs> fall apart, even if it tried. Oh, that's I good. Couldn't. What are those other granola bars? Uh, chewy? No, it's the ones that have the peanut butter candy on the bottom of it oh, that's yeah. like the, the, the icing yeah you like that? i can't think of the name but is that how yours is right now yeah mm -hmm. yeah pretty together yeah i would I'd say, say so. so what makes your life fall apart what what uh are some like things that really just mess you up when in the life? gators lose <laughs> <laughs> which is a lot <laughs> my day is ruined when the gators lose really yeah you're that guy i'm that guy no mm -hmm. i'm yeah. not sure we could be friends anymore what yeah. You were the same way about Roll Tides. Not really. Oh, I was in such a bad mood when Clemson whooped up on us. Mm. Really? Oh, yeah. It ruins my day, man. Did anybody know that I snuck into the national championship? Really? When yeah. Trump was there? Yeah, it was the George Dome. I didn't have a ticket. My whole family was there. And then all of a sudden, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to walk in. And they were like, don't do it. The freaking Secret Service is doing security. And then they... The dogs were there. They had AK-47s, all that. 
Black the Dodge tie. had AK-47. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa. Strap. Secret Service has got some things we've never He's seen. gangster. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I just decided to just walk through the gates, and no one checked my ticket, and I just went in. I don't know who's listening right now. I'm probably going to get arrested after this. Uh, but you didn't do anything pretty. wrong. Perks of being pretty. Perks I don't think pretty. it was. Yeah, I don't have that. I had nothing to do with. <laughs> I know you don't agree, but it had nothing to do with my looks. It literally had everything to do with my swag, because I you literally finessed. walked right past the lady. It was you a lady. Your way in there. Huh? You finessed your way. Tripping in. and finesse, right? Yeah. So <laughs> it wasn't pretty. It wasn't beauty. It was finesse, which nice. is kind of nice. A quarterback, you know, you could be pretty, but you gotta have finesse. Mm-hmm. All right. Would you rather be pretty, or would you rather have finesse game? Finesse, finesse game. 100%. Wow. Yeah. Finesse game. It's got to be like Ask a 90-10. Like Ask me that question. What's would your you, answer? Would you rather be pretty or have finesse? Both. <laughs> if you had to, if you had to pick a ratio, what would it be? A ratio? Like, I'd, I'd go like... 100 to 100. I'd go like 80-20 finesse. A little bit of looks. Ooh, I think I would, you can't just be butt ugly. I think... <laughs> <laughs> No, well, that, that'll get you nowhere. I know. For no, they're not. Yeah, she didn't do anything wrong. That was what two years? That was two years ago, three yeah. years ago. Well, how many national championships was that ago? Oh gosh. Yeah. That's two. <laughs> two. Throwing up in my mouth. Well, we that wasn't was a boast. It was when Trump was there. It wasn't. It was when Trump was there. Everyone half booed. It was when we beat Georgia. It was when we beat Georgia, when? and that was when Jalen came back, I'd or when no, when Tua. That was when Tua came in. That oh. was when Tua first stepped on the scene. It was Tua worth it. Tua Tagovailoa. <laughs> say what? that. Say his name. Fast. What? Tua Tagovailoa. Tua Tagovailoa. Tua Tagovailoa. It's too hard. Tua Tagovailoa. So um, I just want to point out, everybody's tan and crispy, wearing their shirts, mm. wearing their bathing suits. The visor game is on point, honey. It is strong. You're looking like a I'm little sure. Lane Kiffin today. I would have worn my visor, like... but it smells. <laughs> And I just showered. I actually feel like Lane Kiffin after he beat Tennessee. You know, what was that a couple years ago? Yeah. You, Another sea turtle. I don't know if you. I don't know if you can bring up like a side by side image of cool Lane that? and his visor smoking a cigar just like I am. Sure. But we probably look the same. You probably. Uh, you fished uh, on a boat today. He fishes, so you guys. I should have had a picture of you fishing with your visor on a boat. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Yeah, you're totally. What an honor for Lane to be next to me. <laughs> uh, who 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 has some of the swaggiest or best style or worst style in NFL college football or, or period Oregon. like j- Oregon. Oregon no are you talking the about coaches, coaches or yeah, players coaches, or like, uniforms oh. I mean that's fine U- uniforms if we're is... going uniforms it's it's definitely yeah, it's, Oregon. It's Oregon yeah okay that's not fair because T- let's answer. talk about Oregon's uniforms because if there's a girl that's never seen an Oregon oh. uniform before, what does it look like and why is it so? Well, I mean, they're the it, ducks. Well, they've never repeated it, a uniform, right? They're yeah, like the, that's true. That's so pretty like, cool. Because that, that would comparison. relate to a lot of girls. They don't repeat outfits. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say something. Good like, job, Andy. Andy. <laughs> that's good. Wait, they're so bright too. They're very neon. Neon colors. And why, guys? Why are they bright? Because the owner of Nike went to Oregon. Yeah. So they're sponsored by Nike. Yep. So every single week, they do not repeat an outfit. I actually have a couple UCF friends. UCF started doing that. Really? Yep. Dang, I can't wait to see their freaking outfits. They come. Who styles? I want to know who like. That'd be a cool job to like script the script the outfits, <laughs> the uniforms. What if you were the designer <laughs> of the uniforms? Like a girl. That'd be would, cool. Would you guys actually like that oh, as a yeah, designer? 100%. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. That happens in golf. I'll make the cool. It, it's like, turtle. it's like when you customize your character in Wii Sports. <laughs> Like you you want to make them the swag. No, it's like, the remember when we mode. always tried to Nike ID shoes and stuff? Oh, yes. Yeah. And then you couldn't afford them. You just kept them there. <laughs> you, just, you just saved them and It's like, I'm bored. I'm like going to go them. make some more shoes on yeah. Nike. <laughs> and I can't afford. I hope Phil Knight is listening to this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Phil Knight, please sponsor jerseys and heels. Oh, yeah. Please sponsor JR and his shoes. Sponsor shoes. me. I need clothes. Bill Belichick. Mm-hmm. No. Well, he. I, I didn't. We we don't even have to talk about swag. We can just talk about style. Who has style. the worst style? Nick Bill Sa- Belichick. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Bill Belichick. Guys, the w- cutoff sweatshirts. sweatshirts. See, Did he start that? Yes. I have a different opinion. Okay. I think the man is such a legend that he can wear cutoff hoodies every single week and still win Super Bowls. So that therefore makes him swag. His style is dripping. 
He's got that drip. I hate that you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be cool for the podcast. <laughs> do it. Do it for the pod. Uh, <laughs> for the podcast, <laughs> not the jewel pod. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, ju- do you all do jewels? No. Do you guys? Yes. As we sit here and suck on freaking <laughs> cigars. No, those things are bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> As former athletes, guys, these guys are really in shape. They work out all the time. No, they they eat health, healthy. Is round a shape? <laughs> <laughs> Their favorite. Uh, we were talking about favorite restaurants the other day. Not to go off. We'll come back to swag, but they said like Taco Bell. Did anyone say Taco Bell? Oh, Taco Bell is a great place. Oh my. Yeah. Dreams are made of. <laughs> what about Chipotle? Uh, oh my gosh. Talk to me. Chick Fil A. Yes. Okay. If Chipotle was a girl, I would marry her. Mm. Yeah. If Chipotle, See, I think if Chipotle was Chick-fil-A. a head coach, he'd have if this. If Chipotle was a head coach, he would be. It'd be Nick Saban. No, it would be. <laughs> I got a great question. Dan Mullen. Got a great Dan question. Dan Mullen. <laughs> Dan Mullen. No. Dan Mullen is young, lively. He's young. Fresh. Who's he's not young? He's younger than Lane Nick Saban. Lane Kiffin is young. Seven-year-old butt. Yeah, that's true. Lane Nick, Kiffin is young. He's got energy, just kind of like Chipotle has energy and tang, and it's fresh. Dan Mullen's fresh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, what were you going to say? I was going to say, she's perfect in every way, but likes Moe's more than Chipotle. Ew, dude. <laughs> that's actually my <Mary> Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> she's uh-huh. perfect in every way, but she doesn't like Chick-fil-A. Oh, gosh. That's also Mary Margaret. <laughs> that's his girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. That wow. <laughs> oh, that's a game that we used to play all the time. He's perfect in every way, but... It's a great game. He hates football. Ugh. <laughs> I've talked but to... But he f- doesn't listen to podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't know what jerseys and heels is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a bad one. Bye. If he doesn't like football, guys, I don't know. As long as he likes some kind of sport or something. I mean, I've talked to a couple guys, but then stopped talking to them as soon as I found out they didn't even know what a touchdown was. So Yeah, see, that's, that's a, the same. I'm so the same way. So it's a deal breaker for you. It's yes. It's pretty much a deal breaker. Is that bad? No. No, you like what you like. I mean, football's not everything. It's super shallow. Just look at my parents. <laughs> <laughs> super shallow, but... Super shallow, but you're allowed to have preferences. My mom gets more intense than my dad. Oh, your mom is the... Sh- your mom, during the <laughs> Alabama games, is off the chain. She is so obnoxious. We the love you, Carrie. She, she, I mean, she screams on a first down like we just won the national championship. She... she she hated Lane Kiffin. She, <laughs> she did not like Lane Kiffin. <laughs> well, you know how you know how parents bring their babies to like sporting events and stuff. They put ear ear muffs yeah. on them or whatever. That was Sh- me. Sharpie is no Sharpie's. What are you? 23? 24? Mm-hmm. You still wear your muscle around your mom, don't you? <laughs> no, I go downstairs. We move. move I'm floors. never in the same room. You and your dad. You're in your dad. Uh-huh. You know, there's a lot of people that don't like Lane Kiffin, and I told him that when I. You guys know that I. He was just on my podcast. Mm-hmm. I didn't mind him. Yeah, he's a cool. good coach. Yeah, he but he's oh, very aware that a lot of people don't like him. Yeah. But you know, he's sure, a lot of people comment. don't like Bill Belichick either. But I don't think he cares. Yeah, you can't make everyone like you. There's a lot of people. Yes, you can. That's what I try my whole life doing. <laughs> well, you're not gonna please everyone, Jerry. I hate to break it to you. Dang. Me too, deep. though, bud. That's what I think my biggest struggle is in life, is making people <laughs> freaking like me. But there's a lot of people that no, don't. No, you're pretty good at it, though. Haley. Thanks. All right, so let's go talk. Let's talk back with the uh, the coaching swag real quick. Who's got the worst style in sports? Period. Worst mm-hmm. style? Oh, in, oh my. In sports. That's a, that's a very broad question. Sports, or I I mean, we could say football, but in sports. Um. I know there's some listeners right now going blah blah blah. They're thinking right now. Somebody. I'm thinking. Hmm. Or the best. The best besides you get Bill a lot, Belichick, you, you get a lot of bad outfits in golf. Oh That's yeah, Andrew, sure. yeah, you but you got the golf some. World, Andy. Yeah, but you have some really good outfits. Too. Oh yeah, for sure. But most of those guys are scripted. Who do you think their stylist is? Let's start a company. You know what? This isn't working. Their mom. Their mom. <laughs> Probably. Their is. wife. Same. <laughs> Maybe Tiger was looking good during the Masters, y'all. The he mock neck. Good. Uh, oh my. Gosh. Walking in with a backwards cap in the sun. Back to 2005. Okay, oh. back to back who has the most swag, the most style, just every, the full package is Eldrick Woods. Tiger. You can't top him. Oh, LeBron. Pfft, nothing. I will say him. a lot of basketball players have a lot of interesting outfits. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry Russell to say Westbrook. this. Ooh, mm. Russell Westbrook. Ooh. What about, I'm sorry to say this. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Cam Newton, Odell Beckham, 
I Odell's. like that they're see. Ooh, I like Odell's. Odell's. I don't like Cam Newton's. I think that they're both. See, so... but when you're when you're six five and jacked, you look good in that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> if I walked out in that outfit, <laughs> <laughs> you see the reaction already. <laughs> I'm picturing <laughs> Anthony in one of those. <laughs> like the other day, Odell Beckham wore, like, oh, he wore a kilt. Yeah, yeah, I look like a freaking idiot. <laughs> Cam Cam <laughs> Newton ha- wore those hot pink slides with the fur on them, but a lot of people think that he's like they just hate on him so bad. And I want to say, hey, who gave you your style? Like, what I like that he like is actually ballsy enough to freaking. <laughs> my um, <laughs> podcast is kind of ADD, like my personality. Because Kinda. we just jump <laughs> jump from one thing to another. But you will never be bored. So can we just describe where we are real quick to all of those who are listening and not watching this? We are in Honestly, the Abacos. I don't even want to waste my time describing it. You like, can't you describe just it. Watch it. You should just watch yeah. this. Podcast. How beautiful we are. We're can literally we looking at the sunset. We can do a pan. Abacos. Can you pan it real can quick? Pan? Yeah. Pan it. No pressure. Ooh, that's crispy. So crispy. And then bring it right back this way, because we get, yeah. Slow mm. down. Oh, yeah. It'll give the viewers a headache. That gave me time to pick my nose when no one saw that. <laughs> we all saw it. That wedgie, <laughs> that wedgie I had's gone. And, Jen, I... <laughs> <laughs> I like your strategy. <laughs> yeah, pan it so they can see the sunset. More like so we can do things Wait, so they can Sorry, I was, picking, I was picking cigar ash out of my teeth. Um, that's so hot. Are we? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's hot. Haley, are, oh, we that's hot. Than, are we different than the other people you do podcasts with? Um, Actually, you're way cooler. That's you're cool. way more talky. Really? Fook, yeah. You Actually, Chad Johnson couldn't stop talking, but you know he has a lot to talk but about cool. and I had a lot of questions. Seems like he's chill. Uh, is Lane cool. is very, like, answers the question and then stops talking. He's very, like, matter of fact, this is a cigar. That's also not a bad thing, though. No, it's not. You don't run off in weird tangents like you will with us. (laughs) Which I like. It's fine. He has a football team to run. (laughs) Yeah. Do you guys date girls that don't like sports? No. What if she doesn't... What if she's... Go ahead. I think it's more important that, like, she at least played a sport. Played? I like sports and never played. Well, I kind of did. You probably played Soccer. Yeah, but you look, at least you like look like athletic, sport. like you can do athletic things. <laughs> no, it's like, I don't just like, I wear it tights and a, and a workout, <laughs> workout clothes will do wonders. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and some freaking bomb Nikes and Adidas. It's like, like if a girl ever asked me, like, what do I watch on TV? It's always, my answer is always sports. sports She's sports, like, you don't sports, watch TV shows? I'm like, sports no, ball. I, I watch sports. I watch sports. <laughs> I don't watch New Girl. <laughs> so that's your first mistake. Yeah. yeah. Pretty Little Liars. Um, <laughs> I used to watch that show. You did? Mm-hmm. For the shout hot out, girls. Shout out to New Girl and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Like, that is literally my TV life. <laughs> Brooklyn Nine-Nine. What I do watch that? The Bachelor what? and The Bachelorette, though. Yeah, I don't know what Brooklyn so Nine-Nine is. Uh, such a good show. I love The Bachelor, Bachelorette. Um, we'll watch not Brooklyn watching Nine-Nine it this tonight. season, though. Hannah B an- annoys me. Really? Yeah. Why? Because she's so Let's funny. So, so, you guys, well, you're. we've got some former athletes. Let me try this. Keyword and former. Former. We've got a current one, but before we talk, talk about the current guy, can we talk about the job you guys never, ever got to have as a pro athlete? What was that mm. dream job? Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, well, guys. For me, J.R. Allegan, I... <laughs> I had the dream. former quarterback. I had the no. I didn't even know. I had the dream of being a motocross racer. Mm. Honestly, really? yeah. I've least, literally like yeah. been literally? so close to you my whole life, and I never knew that. Wow, I'm like what a kind high of high school girl? <laughs> literally. Anyways, no. And then I turned six five, and the, they don't make bikes that big. And I <laughs> oh fly, yes, they do. I don't fly through the air good enough. So that crushed that. Well said. Wow, that's something I never knew about you. I didn't know that either. Yeah. No, yeah. Hmm. You learn something new every day. All right. So I mean, obviously mine was to be a quarterback, but I wasn't tall enough. Would you like to work you in sports? Trade? Hashtag oh, yeah. retweet. Do you guys want to be my new co-host? Yeah. Yes. What if you we... guys like the sound that you're hearing, which is hilarious. And the looks. And, and yeah, <laughs> I have a face for radio. <laughs> oh my god there's a shark swimming right next to us that's really a sea turtle actually <laughs> we, see how see like 
<laughs> you can't. You can't describe. We're literally doing a podcast, watching the sunset, and there's sea turtles swimming around us. And stingrays. And stingrays. <laughs> oh, God. We're such <laughs> rookies. And we're killing the ozone. <laughs> and my lungs. He, see, this is the kind of guy I like. He takes care. I don't have to direct. So he just knows what I want. And then he does it. Is that what you're And he, about? out of all of us, he's the one getting married. He is. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Makes and so much what sense. What did you say? Is that what you look for in a guy? Uh, initiator and someone who looks really? like for what I you need. You strike me in, as the initiator. You're not an initiator. No, like you do. No, you. <laughs> Alex. Oh, thanks. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <What? laughs> it's okay. I gotta go. Yeah. Oh, man. Is... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You think I'm an initiator? What does that mean? Yeah, you initiate so much conversation and with literally anybody. Yeah. That is but I can, not a pursuer. Okay, now, that, now that I think about it, I see that you do that, but you would love somebody to do it for you. Absolutely. Nice. I, I, would, I get it now. I think that... <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I get I'm, a, I'm a strong woman, but I feel like... <laughs> I, feel like I feel like I need a guy that would actually let me not have to be on all the time. I think that's a huge deal. But what I was saying is that he knew what I needed and then just did it. He's like, I don't even know if initiator was really. No, I get what you're saying. So you want a guy that can look into your eyes and tell that you're thinking about Disney Springs and then just take you there? (laughs) Disney (laughs) Springs. Oh, my God. For those of you who are listening. Or Bryant Denny Stadium. (laughs) Bryant Denny Stadium there. If you don't know what Disney Springs is, how do you even explain it? Disney Springs? Yeah. It's like. Roll Tide. It's like Disney, but free. (laughs) Yeah. It's nothing like Disney. It Where are the rides? Right. Where are the rides? He, he, well, like, no, yeah, it's it's literally it's, it's like, it's like right. imagine Shots. like an outdoor shopping mall, but like Disney themed. Yes, but on steroids with incredible food and drinks. Yeah, it's and got like, like good lights. stores. It's not like not like Toys R Us. You know like. why Sharpie doesn't like it? Our our former quarterback oh, here. Oh yeah, Sharpie, why don't you like it? Yeah, let's let's talk about the last time he was at Disney Springs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Bad date story. <laughs> <laughs> are we going into that sure. yes All right. for sure <laughs> um so i was on a date there <laughs> there's a bowling alley called splitsville Ooh. and it was a girl from one That's of my a bad college- name for a place to take a <laughs> take a date <laughs> That's just thought of it. it worked <laughs> it worked <laughs> spoil. <laughs> spoiler alert spoiler. oh my god Freaking it was a girl from one of my classes and <laughs> what class at Valencia no but like what class was it oh I don't remember <laughs> what class did you do math it was probably a math class Kay. female studies <laughs> female studies <laughs> and no way you passed <laughs> it was one of those things where I picked her up from her house Ooh, classy. drove her there nice. and then there was just no conversation at all I was trying to start every conversation just yeah yeah I was like, okay, this is getting really annoying. So like when you asked her what her name was, she went, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. I knew what her name was. Okay, good. good first step. Yeah, it and, was horrible. Yeah, it was not a good time. And I was like, are you having fun? If not, I'm going to take, we're going to go home. And she said, I don't know. I was like, all right, we're going home. <laughs> and that was it. That answered that question. Oh, my god. And then gosh. they split spilled. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad what? I had to tell one of those stories. Yeah, because I'm the single one. <laughs> I'm single too. Cheers well, to out of, out of your well, stories too. You hear that? What? Single. <laughs> Cough. Single. <laughs> I'm single. Uh, do not DM me on Instagram. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. Do it. How many people if DM? You do, do it. Make it funny. You can DM me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so many people use the slide in the DM. Like, seriously, I cannot even believe how many people slide up in the DM. For people. That's like the way now. It's crazy. They've never done that. Really? Never done that. That is, I've never done that. Maybe to Brett Eldridge once. (laughs) (laughs) That's nothing wrong with that. Shoot your shot, girl. And maybe to Tim Tebow once before he even had a girlfriend, okay? And now he's getting married and... All the girls are sad. I mean, but I'm sad. it was way longer ago. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so all the men in the world are sad too. <laughs> all the Florida Florida men. Yeah, the Gators. yeah us, the Bama boys don't care, do no, you? Yeah, no. Yeah. We made them cry. Wow, that's that's Ouch. That was uncalled for. Oh, oh, wait. Mid show ash check long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like perfect. I know, it's it great. Is. This is that literally is. the best one I've Can ever had. Can we zo- zoom this camera in real quick, cameraman? Please fall on your lap. 
Here's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Long F. Long F. <laughs> okay, Shout out to so American Cigars. I... American Cigars, us, you are long F. You last long. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to cut that one out. <laughs> Is this a Viagra commercial? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh God. <laughs> if, you're, if your ash lasts longer for fo- than four hours, please see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funnier than hell. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I don't care who you are. <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave. Andrew's got it from here. <laughs> Listen, if you he- like what you hear, write in and ask for these guys again. What are you calling yourselves? Oh, yeah. uh, uh, did we say it? Nature Valley Boys. Oh, the BBC. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> the Bahamas Boys Club. Bahamas Boys Club. <laughs> then we realized what the acronym is. <laughs> yeah. and then, uh, what is we're it? We're still BBC. What's the acronym? We can't say that. We can't say that. And all of you watching, get your minds out of the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. It's dirty. Because um, we're all white. <laughs> oh, Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the BBC, the Black Boys Club. No, no. Bahamas Boys Club. Bahamas Boys Club. Okay. <laughs> All Anyways. right. So why would I even bring you guys on? I kind of feel really special that you guys are all here. You guys are hilarious and amazing and just so cool. Thank you for being here. I do want to say that we do have a potential pro golfer on the pod right now with a really long ash (laughs) 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 and uh i mean if y'all didn't know this is andrew alligood and he is how do you even explain where you are in the like how does that kind of weird like because most people will turn pro right when they finish college and i'm just kind of chilling right now (laughs) you're in the bahamas yeah yeah. did you just finish college i'm done with college golf i still still have an internship to graduate but nice done with done with my I'm, a, I'm just a regular. To, I'm just a regular student now. It's kind of weird. Golfers have to intern somewhere. That's for my degree. No, I don't. I'm not having a degree in golf. <laughs> <laughs> What's your degree in? Sport management. Okay. Me too. Really. Word. So, um, <laughs> you played in what the pre the preem? How do you how do you say that? U.S. Amateur. The U.S. Amateur. Hmm. Amateur or amateur. Uh, I it's say both. amateur. 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 Am- amateur. I think. I think. U.S. Amateur. Yeah, I really. And don't what know. is that? Uh, it's, it's basically like the national championship, but for amateurs, like you have the U S open, it's like kind of the national championship for professionals, golfers. Yeah. The U S amateur is kind of the same thing, but for all amateur golfers. And how does it work? Like if you win, how, where do you have to place to get to the U S open? Um, to get to the U S open or the U S amateur? The U S. No, no, no. You've already been there. So you're there. What's the goal? Um, well, the goal is to get my PJ tour card. That's the first goal. And how um, do you get that? Oh, geez. Is it um, hard? You have to play really good golf. Okay. Like, really good. Consistently. But yeah. Week in and week out. Um, you got to hit bombs. You go, basically, you just try to get on the web.com tour, which is, like, kind of like the AAA of okay. professional golf. It's now and the then, Corn Fairy Tour. Yeah, the Corn Fairy Tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Corn Fairy Tour? Uh-huh. Why? Are you sure you want to It's just a new title sponsor. Yeah, it's not sponsored by web.com anymore. Corn Fairy. And you... <laughs> go through a series of like qualifying tournaments to get on there and then you play if you finish it high enough on the money list after a season on there then you get your pj tour card so wow okay that's the journey i'm going to try to take <clears throat> wow yeah so who is the coolest person that you've ever played with or met or like like starstruck Answer uh, me and Sharpie are right here, and we played with you before. I've played with Dan Marino. <laughs> what? And then I've played with that Tony Finau. So there's kind of two different worlds. Dan Marino was really cool. He's also really drunk, so I don't think he remembers. Um, Dan. Yeah, and Tony Finau is on the PGA yeah. Tour. I played, I played U.S. Open sectional qualifying with Tony Finau, so I spent 36 holes in one day with him, which was really cool. Wow. Yeah. Did he comment or compliment you on your stroke? Yeah, he was, he was actually really, really... <laughs> complimentary of me he was he said he I he's had one a of the of nicest game. guys yeah, he was super cool wow. super nice dude have you met him matt no it's just what all the I think, other i think you know he's known for it yeah all the other pga guys say super cool dude his caddy was really cool too they were both like they're both really <laughs> impressed and obviously hopefully i get out there so i can play with them uh jerseys and heels is known for Haley bragging on her golf swing 
<laughs> that, it's pretty good. But do you know if I get videos playing? of it all the time? <laughs> <laughs> all the time. It's because I want Fix pointers. My but who's going to take me on my first nine holes? Who has the patience for that? I work at a golf holes course. Before? Huh? Never played on holes before? Never. The first, the first guy to initiate for you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I've had some DMs about that too. Ooh, so yeah. Not mini golf, right? Not mini golf, golf. No yeah, putt. Thank you, Matt. Not putt putt on I Drive in hey, Orlando. Nothing's wrong with putt putt. I like putt putting. I just I need like someone, some man who's gonna take me and be patient enough to watch me screw it up, at least for four <laughs> yeah, hours. I screw it up too, and I play every day. So. Aw, that's sweet, Jose. Thanks, Andy. You're welcome. Uh, who? What was your most amazing course that you ever played? Pebble Beach. For sure. Yeah. yeah it's one of those places. It's kind of like here. Like, you just constantly look around and you're like, where am I? Like, it's a course on the coast. Yeah. If people don't know what it's like, is. You're, you're hitting over cliffs and looking at 20, 30 million dollar houses and you're like, what in the world? And it was, I think that helped me play really well in the U.S. Amateur because, like, you have like TV cameras, you have crowds, you, you have, you know, what's on the line, like getting to, you know, all the, or the accolades that come with it. And you're like, you're more distracted by the fact that you're playing golf in, like, literally the coolest place in the world. And he wow. played well, too. He made it to, what, round of 16? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was fun. Wow. And I played my round of 16 match with a really good friend of mine, who, which was really fun. We were, we saw a bunch of camera clips of us, like, fist pumping each other. And, wow. And it was, it was a lot of fun. Amazing. And so one I day you're going to – I that cool. You're going to – yeah, we <laughs> all wish we were that cool. Freak. I dream about it every night. I mean, we're on a podcast in the Abacos. That's pretty dang cool. That's cool. We're on jerseys and heels. We're not just on a podcast. Oh, yeah, that's true. Not any jerseys podcast. Heels. <laughs> Last question before we shut this down and go cook the fish that these guys speared today. I, not me. We're not just former and current athletes. We are <laughs> providers. <laughs> <laughs> dad. Dad. Dad's. Dad. Half. Dad. Half. <laughs> Father, dad, figures. Father, Father figures. Father figures. <laughs> Providing for their families, spearfishing today. More, instead of BBC, it should be BDC, Bahama Daddies Club. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. He were daddies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BDBs. Oh, man. BDCs. Um, BDCs, yeah. I good. fill up <laughs> this your favorite stadium with people our age, even though I'm way older than you kids around here. Right. What do you tell our generation oh, what is one thing that you'd say if you could like if i was like hey you need to be inspiring for 30 seconds you guys need to be inspiring say <laughs> something not about sports not about anything uh for two minutes what would you tell uh, why do you, what do you feel like even you and i we we need to hear what is the thing that we need to hear our generation you think we need to work on maybe um, I love. hate the cliche, but full sins. Full sins. No half sins. Full send the love. Full send. Take the love, love and send it. Full send it. Full send it. Full send it. Okay, I learned full send last summer. Can we explain what full send is? Full send is no holding back. No holding back. No. Hardcore. No. Hardcore parkour. No being tentative. All in. Go for it. Nice. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, yeah. Dad. Good answer, Dad. Full, so that's y'all's answer is full send. Yeah. Full send, but with but with the right things. Don't full send like cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad idea. Don't full send. <laughs> <laughs> Good follow, baby. Uh, yeah. Don't full do send drugs. the love. Don't do drugs. <laughs> that's one of the best advice I could give. <laughs> Full send love, not cocaine. I'm making, I'm making t-shirts. That's going to be on the back of our, our the BDC Bahamas t-shirts. Daddy's Club. Yeah. Full send, but not cocaine. Okay, full send love and kindness. Can we talk about how like, quickly it's like drop, the sun's dropping? Yeah, Can cameraman, can you just scan that real quick? Slowly. Get another wedgie? Not anymore. Nice. Jen, did you get a what? Oh, good, you got him. We have a crowd, too. Yeah. Yeah, we got a crowd. I hope you guys are laughing like they are. <laughs> yeah, we've got a crowd on the dock here. People are cracking up. Internal laughers. <laughs> oh man. Um, thanks for the, the the advice, daddies. Mm-hmm. You know, there's actually a podcast. <laughs> last point, called "Call Her Daddy." Yes. And 
It's actually oh, pretty her. good. It's oh, pretty daddy? raunchy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's called, very raunchy. It's on uh, Paul it's Female on, Daddy. Yeah, it's on It's barstool. called Call Her Daddy. It's it's Barstool. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, I love Barstool. So Barstool it's, should like that's full. Sponsor- that's they full send their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they should do like um, uh, Barstool should sponsor. Call her daddy and jerseys and heels because there's like the cool. bad version and then the good version. It's like no, it's bad not, girl, good would, girl. Yeah, I would, yeah, you got to be careful bad when you say bad. I don't think it's a bad podcast. No, bad girls. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're pretty. They talk l- about some bad things, vulgar stuff. They know it, and that's like their thing. Yeah, that's, yeah. And then Haley's like, "What would you do to inspire the world?" <laughs> oh my god. Don't full send cocaine. Don't full send cocaine. Yeah, and they probably say full send cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I haven't listened to it enough. Oh I'm not gonna gosh. judge. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to bash. I don't, yeah, I don't we know. can't bash no. other people. They're so and they're gorgeous, by the way. They're full sending it. They're doing. Full yeah, sending. they're doing they what they want. They want. They're doing what, what they, they want to do. About. Yeah. Well, guys, we smoke cigars yeah. on our podcast, so yeah. Yeah, we do. Anyway, guys, this is amazing. Yeah. Thank you for having us. us. Is this how you thought it was gonna Oof. go? It's exactly my Hopefully. dream. You know like, what would be really cool? Dream, we're dream Obviously, dream. we can't top Caravan, being on can this you podcast, do that again? But, but if other podcasts have us on as a trio. Oh, yeah. I can would be jealous right AF. We cannot split up. I can't do we that. We are a trio. Because if I get on the PJ Tour, nope, I'm not nope, going to nope, wait for you guys shoot. to get yep, on. Nope, absolutely. Have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? I feel sad. <laughs> <laughs> You're the host. You have other people. You started it all, Haley. Thanks. We'll send people your way. Yeah, what if we become famous? podcast host or guests. Yes. yes yeah we could like just your podcast have you... isn't cool until you have the bdc the bdc's the bdc's the bdc's the bdc's the bdc's uh how about we do how about we do a <clears throat> podcast in naples mm-hmm. and then in jacksonville nice and then at disney springs you have to fly me in thanks guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't come with a cheap. We don't come with a cheap price tag. You gotta fly us in. Yep. Must have Chick Fil A nuggets. Must have Kalik oh. and cigars. Chipotle. Chipotle. That's fine. That's All good, right. Dude. Thanks, guys. Wait, Thank end of the you. show. Ask Jack. Still long. <laughs> zoom, zoom, <laughs> zoom, zoom. Guys, if if you have not, if you're not watching but you're listening, cracking your face off. My ash is long. Your cracking his your ash, ash is. Almost half of his cigar. Impeccable. It's an inch and a half at least. It's textbook. It's also not lit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. Do we have a sign-off call? Uh, no. Should we come up with one? What's a sign-off call? Like where you go. We could pull an anchor man and be like, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Good well, night, just San did Diego. It. <laughs> no, you just did it. How the... the granola bar crumbles. The Nature Valley oh. bar crumbles. No, you gotta look... You gotta go... Full send love. Not cocaine. <laughs> and then cut it off. Okay. That's Black. cute.